Nicaraguan, Dominican, U.S., and Mexico. Did I forget anything? Let's go. with another review with Kendrick Leaf. Today, we have the King's Gold by Aventura Cigars. Now this cigar is a 52 by five Robusto. This cigar features fillers from the United States, Dominican Republic, and Nicaragua, and also featuring a Mexican San Andreas binder. So this is a collaboration I'm definitely willing to get into. So let's get ready to give it a cut, give it a cold draw, and uh, see what we got here. Now this stick, has an interesting wrapper, it's like a metal plated banding on the uh, cigar here. It looks like uh, it's kind of fits on itself there. It looks pretty cool, it's embossed. Got embossing on the the, the Aventuro uh, logo there. And as well as also Aventura by uh, Henderson Ventura. And also it says the Royal Return on the side here. This cigar has a nice, nice oily sheen to it. Uh, and it features the, the Connecticut broadleaf on this wrapper here. Nice McGurl. There's some tooth in this, slight tooth. In, actually, not slight at all. This, you can definitely see the tooth in this in this uh, Connecticut broadleaf here. Um, so I'll definitely know I'm in, in for a, a flavor, a flavorful ride with this cigar. And also tell me it might be it might be a fuller cigar with, with the, all the tooth in this that I see on this cigar. So I'm definitely looking to see how that goes. We'll uh, take our time with it and get into it and give you the details on these first, second, and last third on this cigar. So you ready? Let's go. So right off the bat on this cold draw, I'm picking up like a like a brownie. Like the the the, the corner piece of a brownie. It's got this deep, deep chocolate tone to it. It's pretty damn satisfying. <laughs> it's like, wow, it's a lot of chocolate, a lot of, a lot of chocolate coming through in that uh, that cold draw. I just want to smoke it as a cold draw. I don't even want to smoke it, light this damn thing. <laughs> I don't even want to light this thing right now. I just rather cold draw it. And a little bit of pepper on that back end. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light her up. Okay, so right off the bat, I gotta say, I'm, I'm picking up a nice oak uh, nuance on this stick. The chocolate flavors are definitely still there. Not as powerful as it was on that cold draw. The oak is definitely overriding that, um, that chocolate right now. And, and like I said in the beginning of this video, this is gonna be a complex cigar. There are four different areas brought into this one stick. So we're gonna get layer upon layer upon layer of uh, flavor in this cigar, so I'm pretty interested to see how, how this rides out. So with that oakiness, underlying in that oakiness is a like a fig, like a fig newton. If you get what I'm saying, it's, you get a pastry-like taste. And that, that fig newton type of, that, that fruitiness that's in that fig newton, kind of pruny and raisiny kind of. And that's basically what I'm picking up from this cigar right here in this first third. So right now, not too bad. I will mention that I am pairing this cigar with Whistle Pig Farm Stock Rye. So <laughs> I'm gonna get some spice inside of this and some spice inside of this. 
hope it doesn't overload the taste buds, but we'll see. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'll smoke this down a little bit, give you an update. Figured I'd come back and give you a quick update on what's going on with this uh, cigar here. Nice uh, even burn line I'm getting on this stick right now. Pretty impressed with that. Not having to touch up anything. It's doing its own thing, smoking it nice and smooth and evenly. Not having to make any adjustments and it's burning rather nicely. So with these flavors, picking up your typical flavors you would pick up in a Maduro. I'd say you're getting your leather, you're getting out cedar notes on this. and even espresso. So the flavors right now are definitely getting a little more robust and partly blame for the tooth in this, in this cigar for sure. All those little flavor pockets. And that retro hill offers a nice creamy black pepper nuance. Not too crazy on the burn on the retro hell out, but it's definitely there. It's definitely uh, right now a, a, a medium to long finish right now. Definitely a fuller body cigar. I'll update you again here shortly. All right, folks, we're getting into this bottom of this first third and getting to the second third. And right now, the flavors are still, um, it's a medium full. Medium full right now, and definitely I know once it get a little further, it's gonna progress into a fuller cigar, and that's okay. I'd expect that with this broad, with this Connecticut Broadleaf uh, cigar here. So let's talk about the cigar as a session. This cigar, to me, is a cigar that I would have at a cigar lounge. Um, it's not one that I would smoke every day uh, because it is coming on the medium full to full, unless you like that, then that's totally fine. But for me, this is not a stick I would smoke every day. It's definitely a good stick. The flavors are really nice um, and pretty full. And that's why I said I wouldn't, it's almost like beer. You know, there's certain times for stouts, there's certain times for lagers, there's certain times for IPAs, and there's definitely a time for summer beers like Shandy's. And this cigar right here fits right into that category. So not bad. Just picked up a nice green pepper on that retro hill. Flavors and nuances are still leather. And there's this nice like cocoa, like a cocoa butter nuance right at the end of that, that retro there as I let that out. So that's pretty dope. Um, so it's still in tune with how this cigar started. It's still getting that creaminess, still getting that pastry-like undertone. So it's sort of like that, uh, uh, sort of like with that Fig Newton, uh, pretty much. So that pastry undertone is still flying through here for sure. So that pastry undertone is still there. Ah, uh, just lost the ash, and that happens. I mean, it, it held on strong there up to the second, third there, and I mean, I'm doing a lot of moving here, so that's probably what caused it, but that's okay. It lasted on there long enough. You can see I'm burning it, smoking it just right. There's no, I don't have any coning going on, so I know I'm, I'm not smoking it too fast. I'm smoking it right where it should be, so. I'll just keep on smoking this down to the second third and get to the final third and give you an update on what I think. What's good YouTube family? We're about the end, final third of this 52 by five Aventura Robusto. And quite honestly, the complexity is dying off to me in this cigar. And I say that because a lot of the nuances that I did get, or I thought I was gonna get, are getting muddied up within that second third and into this final third here. All I really get now is just dark coffee notes, maybe a slight nuttiness, but it's really, really muddied up right now. Yeah. So, I guess, in a final thought of this cigar, I would say that it's an okay stick. It's not a bad stick, but it's not a stick that I would necessarily keep in my humidor. Don't get me wrong. It's an okay stick. 
A lot of you out there might enjoy and might even love this stick and that, and that's completely fine. We all have our own taste. But for me, if it's gonna be a dark cigar like this or darker cigar like this, and as complex as it sounds or as it should be, it didn't deliver for me on this one. So with that being said, if you're out and about in the lounge and you see this cigar, I'd say get it. I'd say smoke it. You know, if you're out there in a social gathering, yeah, go ahead and pick it up and smoke it. I mean, I, I would do the same. It's, 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 like I said, it's not one that I would smoke all the time. It's not definitely, it's, it's definitely not one that I would keep stock up in my humidor, but I wouldn't be afraid to smoke it again. It, 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 it's fine. It's just not as complex as I would like it to be. Um, and it's, it's the strength right now uh, for this cigar. It should be a full, but uh, to me, it's honestly, it's a, it's a nice medium. I have to back down off that medium full. It's, it's, a, it's a medium for me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a medium stick. So yeah, the banding's cool. The cigar was wrapped rather nicely. I didn't have to adjust. I give it extra points for the, the burn line. And as far as the, the build of the cigar, but flavor and complexity to me is where it's gonna drop down on the points list. If I was to rate this cigar, keeping those numbers in mind, I'll bring it in at a strong 88, but that's just me. But anywho, if you enjoy watching this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And again, I just wanna say thank you for joining me today on this cigar session. And always remember, be kind to one another and be kindred in the leaf. Until next time, friends, we'll see you again with the next cigar review.